IP ratings on your devices, what do they mean? Let's find out. Dave Taylor here, and I wanna talk about IP ratings on devices. Now, you've seen them before on your phone, maybe your watch, where it's gonna be like IP65 or IP67 or something, but what do they actually mean? Turns out that IP stands for, depending on who you talk to, either ingress protection or international protection, IP. Turns out that that is actually more formally known as IEC standard, let me get it right, 60529. And it's a two digit number that explains both with solids and liquids what level of protection a device has. So let's take this outside floodlight for example. If we look on the box, it says that it's rated, where is it, IP65. So this outdoor floodlight's rated IP65. Well, the first number is its resistance to solids. And let me just say, in both cases, a zero means it's completely open and exposed. If you have an open circuit board, that's an IP0. And then it goes up from there. So IP level one, it's protected from things greater than 50 millimeters, which is pretty big. IP level two is 12.5 millimeters. Three is 2.5. Four is where we're starting to get something interesting, where it's protected from anything greater than one millimeter in size. So, you know, sand probably is still gonna be a problem, but IP5 is dust protected, and IP6 is dust tight. So remember, this is an IP65. So IP6, the first digit, that's the highest it can be, and that's good. That means that it's completely rated against any sort of dust issues. The second digit is water. And again, liquid level zero means it's not protected at all. You don't even wanna like get it humid. <laughs> IP level one is dripping water, and then it goes spraying water is three, splashing water is four, five is water jets, six is high pressure water jets, seven is immersion in water up to one meter, and eight, which is the highest rating, is immersion greater than one meter in depth. So now let's go back and look at this again. IP65, so it has as much dust protection as it can, but it only protects against water jets. So if you put this somewhere where it's gonna be rained on and water's gonna sit and maybe accumulate around it, it will fail. But if you hose it off, you're good to go. That's what a water jet is, right? Now, let's look at a smartphone. So let's, for example, say this is the Galaxy Note 8, the brand new Galaxy Note 8. That's an IP68. Now, that's the best rating you can have. So the six means it's completely dustproof, and the eight means that it's in safe and can survive immersion greater than one meter in depth. So that's pretty good. So Galaxy Note 8, the LG G6, those are all IP68. Now let's work our way down a little bit. My Apple Watch is an IP67 or an IP67. And what that means is that I can actually have it, it's totally dustproof, but it's only technically rated waterproof up to one meter in depth or three feet. So perfectly good for the shower, perfectly good if I wanna just go and jump in the pool and swim around, but not very good for deep sea diving. That would actually cause the watch to fail. Now, what else do we have? So let's look at the Nest outdoor camera. So the Nest outdoor cam is an IP65. So again, just like this, it means that it's fully dust proof, but it's not waterproof. If for some reason it falls down and ends up sitting in a puddle, it'll fail. Now, there are even devices that have less protection than that. A really interesting example is the DJI, D, sorry, DJI Matrix 200, and that's a drone, and that's rated as a super all-weather drone, but it turns out its IP rating is only 43. So what does that mean? So IP4 means it's protected from objects or solids greater than one millimeter in size. So when it's up in the air and there's dust and all sorts of stuff, it might not be fully protected from that, depending on how big the actually individual bits of dust are. And then I said IP43, three is not much of a water rating. That means it's safe from spraying water, 
but it's not okay from splashing or jets of water. So if you have that up in the air and you have your DJI drone and you're having fun and it starts raining, you probably need to land it and get it back under cover as fast as you can. So that's how this works. The IP ratings, the first number is solids, the second number is liquids and bigger numbers are better than smaller numbers and the best possible value that you can have from this rating system is IP68 like things like the Samsung Note 8 and the LG G6. This is Dave Taylor. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you don't mind and I will catch you in my next video.